Hey guys, it's Ray Davis with the Affirmation Spot. It is Sunday, May the 10th, and Mother's Day here in the United States, so happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Let's talk about this situation that we're in. We've been going through a combination of a pandemic and an economic crisis that we've been dealing with for the last couple of months here, and it's really challenged all of us in so many ways. Now we're faced with the conundrum of a reopening economy, an ongoing pandemic, and how do we deal with that? Never has there been a time where our mindsets are more important than they are right now. So I wanted to do a quick review today of how our thinking creates our reality. So thoughts are the building blocks of our reality. Why do I say that? Everything that we look around at in the world was created by a thought that somebody had. Now thoughts are often driven by emotions as well. The thought is kind of the foundation. We have a thought. Our body gives us emotions and feelings that go with that thought. And then often those emotions and feelings become actions and words. So when we have the building blocks of thoughts that are negative, those produce feelings and emotions in us that are also negative. And then words and actions follow. The way to fix that is to start back with our thoughts. More positive thoughts will lead to more positive emotions. More positive emotions will lead to more positive words and action. And then collectively, as more and more people do that, we create a better reality for ourselves. Now, I'm not saying that we can instantly fix the economy or instantly make the pandemic go away just with our thinking. What I am saying, though, is that the way we approach any situation, beginning with our thinking, really does have a lot to say about how the situation comes out. You can take any situation, whatever it is, good, bad, or indifferent, and make it worse with your thinking or better with your thinking. Now again, we're not going to solve a pandemic or this economic crisis immediately with our thoughts, but our thoughts are the starting point for solving it. And when we have our thoughts lined up in a way that helps us look to a more positive future beyond this situation, then we can begin rebuilding the economy. We can continue protecting our health in the way that we need to. And we can build a future after this situation that was better than the past before it. So today I'm going to close with a few affirmations that I want to share with you that can help us get back on our feet economically and stay strong from a health standpoint. Here we go. Our jobs are coming back. 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 Our small businesses 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 are coming back. Our health is strong. 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 Our economy 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 is strong. I am doing my part to prevent this virus from spreading. I am doing my part to prevent this virus from spreading. I am doing my part to prevent this virus from spreading. I am doing my part to prevent this virus from spreading. We must change our thoughts right now. We must shift them from fear and uncertainty to a certainty about what's coming after this. And the result of more positive thoughts will be more positive emotions, which will lead to more positive words and more positive actions. And whatever is going on out in the world, economically or health-wise, we will be better off by focusing our thoughts on the positive outcomes in this moment and better outcomes in the future. This is Ray Davis with the Affirmation Spot. Remember, in case no one else has reminded you today, you are awesome. Everybody have a great day, and I will talk to you again soon.